Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to use the mouse for um, RetroPie and this version of Raspberry Pi that I have is a Raspberry Pi 4 with 2 gigabytes of RAM and I'm going to run it a game um, like Operation Wolf which is a light gun game so I'm going to go here and start it. I already configured it so I'm going to show you how to configure it. I'm just going to show you that I am indeed using the mouse to play the game. So let me move it to the mouse and move it back. See I'm using the mouse to play the game. I'm gonna play the game at the mouse and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm using the keyboard and mouse to play the game. It's much better with the mouse. I can tell you that. It's much better than using the keyboard, which isn't very good at all. Okay, enough of that. So I'm gonna press um, my controller here to go into the config. So I press this and that, that select and that to get to right there. Let me zoom it in better so you can see it. So the way I configured it was like uh, this. And then I have to press this button to get here, press down, go to config, and I, and I press number three, that's the action button. Okay, that's what's there, so I'm gonna have to go to settings first, go to input. So this was set at five players, but I just set it at two, because I'm probably not gonna use more than that. And then I press the back button, which is number two, Go back, go to port one binds, and this was set at zero, but I set it at number two right there. And that would enable the mouse to work for for MAME. And then for two, I would also put uh, for mouse, I'd put two. And press B, I mean press the back button to get back. Back again. Back again, of course. Go to configuration file. And then save current configuration file. So this will save the settings as you can see. So now I'm gonna exit out of here. Back, back. And uh, I'm going to quit. Retro arc. I'm gonna start another game called Operation Thunderbolt and use the mouse and bind the keys. Okay, the mouse is working again. Huh, there's something I don't want here. I'm gonna go back there. I really don't care about player 2. So I'm going to go back here, go to settings, go to input, let's go to that, or <laughs> 2 binds. Let's just put it at 0 because I'm not going to play, I'm not going to put 2 mice in here anyways. Back, 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 configuration file. Save current config. And now I will always, it'll always end up with that setting. So, in order for me to bind the controls, I have to press the tab key. And 
input for this game. Press enter. Operation initiated. Rescue all hostages. So I want to select a button for player one. I'm going to press enter. Press the right left mouse button. And then button two. Enter again. And then right mouse button. Enter right mouse button. So now I set the controls here, and I want to send the analog controls, kind of like change the sensitivity. I think I want to change the x axis to maybe 35, 35%. Player 2, I don't care about. So I'm going to Go here, enter, return to game. I'm going to start. So as you can see, I'm using the mouse right now. I'm not using the keyboard. I'm using the mouse to play the game. The rocket isn't working. I press tab. Go in here. right mouse button ain't working, that's weird. Let me try some other. Oh, I screwed up here. <laughs> okay, that's not it. So I'm just gonna put, it's my mistake. Player one, button two. Okay, escape, escape. Now let's see, okay, now the rocket works. With the mouse, the game is a lot better. If you're using a trackball or anything, you can also um, use a trackball by using this method. So let me get out of here. Okay, that worked. So now you could use your mouse, trackpad, or whatever with your retro pie. Okay, um, let me get out of here. Let me press start and close this down. Shut down system. Oh, as for this thing, I don't know if you can see that or not. This stuff, um, I just set it so that I could see the stats. Let me show you other settings. You could also change the VRAM limit. I set it at 360. You can set it to whatever, you can set it to as much as, I think, 900 megabytes or something. No, um, gigabyte, okay. Set it back to 360. Show frame rate. I'm going to turn it off. And as you can see, all that stuff is gone now. So now I'm going to shut down my... Raspberry Pi shutdown system, yes. And that's how you get the mouse or a trackball or anything else to work on your uh, retro Pi. Okay, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS 1975 signing out.